what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today we're keeping it real cash making some candles today updating you a little bit about what's going on with lady c and yeah so i'm just taking you along with me let's just get started All right, let's get going. Before we move further, I do want to say that if you are interested in like what supplies I use, all that stuff that I use to make candles, um, hopefully you should be. But if you're not, subscribe to Lady C's Digital HQ. The link is in the description box. Um, it's the link that takes you to all my links. Subscribe there. Not only will you be on my weekly newsletter where I share other candle making tips and candle business insight, but you'll also get access to all of my freebies. One of those freebies being my candle making supply list that includes links to everything that I use to make my candles. Right now I have my oven preheating right now because if you do not know, part of my candle making process is heating up my jars, warming them. Here in Ohio, we are in the winter. So, well, it will be technically winter in like a couple weeks but it's december here so it's chilly yes we have our heat on right but i like to ensure that my candles are not cooling too quickly that helps to avoid wet spots and sinkholes so i do warm up my jars so that way it slows down the cooling process so that way i can achieve the most smooth smoothest tops as possible <laughs> also when I am making candles in bulk, this is a little candle making tip for those who are making candles in bulk. Um, I do have my big old Presto pot over here. It is off to the side over here, <laughs> but um, I have now upgraded to a Presto pot from just using my four pouring pitchers. I still use these to mix and pour uh, my candles, if, especially if I'm making different scents and things like that. It helps keep scents separated um but one thing that i do is before i start making candles i always have my formula handy and then i always jot down um my the amount of wax and fragrance oil i need to make the bulk amount that i'm making so today i am making 12 bamboo and coconut candles and um so i went on and took the amount of wax that it takes to make one candle i times that by 12 to, to um, help me know how many grams of wax total I need to make 12 jars and then the amount of fragrance oil that it takes to make one candle I times that by 12 so that I know how much total fragrance oil I need to pour as well so I always have my formula handy so that way I can easily do some quick math and I already have my numbers ready to go for when it's time to prep and measure out my wax and fragrance oil. So keep that in mind when you're making candles in bulk. So it takes 180 grams of wax for me to make one candle. So 180 times 12 is 2,160 grams of wax. So I am going to measure out 2,160 grams of wax and then I need 18 grams of fragrance oil to make one candle. So 12 times 18 is 216. So I need to measure out 216 grams of fragrance oil as well. So we are gonna go ahead and get everything measured out. I like to have everything prepped. Um, and then I will get to chit chatting with you, sharing some little updates.
So in the previous clips, you saw me measuring out my wax um, and my fragrance oil. So I'm actually about to turn my wax on right now. So it can begin to start melting and we are going to chit chat while I prep, clean and prep my jars, wick and all that stuff. So I need 12, so four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And then I actually need to run upstairs and grab some more. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I got 12 jars now. <laughs> so now we are just about to clean and prep. Here are my paper towels. I love these, super absorbent. Um, they also capture lint very well, which I love because sometimes jars through the manufacturing and shipping process, it gets dusty. So I do like that. So what's going on with Lady C, y'all? First of all, I'm seven and a half months pregnant. <laughs> um, things are going well. Baby is good. So far, so good, right? Um, so right now we're just prepping the baby. We have the baby shower a few weeks ago it was like the second weekend in november so that was super fun um nice turnout we did it drive through style which is pretty much the thing now <laughs> due to covid and these other variants still kind of lingering in our world so but it was really fun um super exciting baby girl got blessed highly blessed and so i'm truly grateful for those who are supporting our journey um and our baby girl coming and let's see baby boy is in pre-k well technically he's in like pre-k one um so there's so he'll go to pre-k two next year before he actually starts like kindergarten um so he's doing really good in school so far his at-home daycare actually retired and moved. So we had to find him a place to go and we did and he's in school and he's enjoying it, um, doing good. So that way, you know, I'm able to work from home and do what I need to do. Um, and my husband, he like works from home, but um, he's an insurance broker. So he also, rolls around the city a lot too so um we're just happy we were able to find him somewhere <laughs> good <laughs> especially this late in the school year so the family is doing good we're healthy staying healthy i pray oops i pray you all are staying healthy so what's going on with the company the business lady c is still doing good um i do not plan to slip the stop um, of course, I'm going to slow down a little bit in the next month um, as I really get close. The baby's due in February, so um, not too far. <laughs> so I will be slowing down quite a bit. Um, but Lady C, I have a lot of plans already mapped out for next year, which I'm super excited about. Um, expanding my empowering collection expanding my gray sweatpants collection which is my men's line um and then releasing some new products i'm also planning on doing a fall collection and a winter collection which i actually had planned to do this year but once i got pregnant i got really sick as you all know so um, i had to take a step back completely from coaching and all of that stuff um so but i do plan to release a fall and winter collection next year so i have literally all of 2022 mapped out and ready to go right now i'm just focusing on closing out my business year for tax purposes so going through my inventory updating everything counting all of my inventory Pretty much just getting ready for tax season. Um, so when it's time for my husband and I to file our personal taxes, my business stuff will be 
ready to go. So that is going on with that. And I have some good news to share. So I just gained two new clients, wholesale clients for Lady Simone Candle Co. I am super, super excited. So my first client, which is actually who I'm making, starting to make these candles for, um, so my business coach, she just recently launched a book. And if you're subscribed to my newsletter, you probably saw me promoting her book. Um, but she had a book launch recently and I was actually one of the panelists. And so, um, I did a lot of networking, of course, passed out business cards. And so a lady that actually, um, found out about me, um, reached out and ordered um, 50 candles, right? And I know to some of you that may be like, well, that's not a huge order. It is to me. <laughs> it is to Lady Simone. It means a lot. And so, of course, at the wholesale price, her and I negotiated everything. She filled out the wholesale form that I have on my website. And she emailed me to confirm that she submitted the form. And then from there, we did... Um, we, um, I told her the breakdown, the cost, um, and it's actually for a nonprofit organization and it's local here. And she wanted it, she wanted to include my candles in her gift sets. And so she ordered 50 and so I will deliver them to her, um, by December 14th. And so, um, she ordered four cents, which is typically what I require. I do kind of, I require at least a minimum of $200 and at least four cents. So that way I can get the biggest bang for my buck. And so she ended up buying 50 candles and I'm super excited. And so I already mapped out everything, how many of each scent that I'm making. So I'm actually starting her candles now with um, the fragrance oils that I do have available. I did place a candle supply order so that way I can restock in general and then also fulfill the rest of her order. Um, so that should be coming in next week. So in the meantime, I said with, with, with what I do have, I'm gonna go ahead and get a jump start on her candles and of course include my business cards and drop them off to her by the due date. So I am super excited about that to be featured in her gift sets for the nonprofit organization. So 50 candles means a lot to me. Um, last, this past summer, I was actually, if you remember one of my summer videos, I was talking about possibly having a wholesale client. That did not work out. One thing I learned about, I am learning about wholesale and private label and things like that. Um, that I am not going to skimp on my prices. Like I know what Lady Simone is worth um, and you cannot afford to get soft as a business owner. You have to recognize that um, this is your business and um, you have to make a profit and so um, that that wholesale client did not work out. I was actually negotiating as a for a potential private label client that did not work out. And again, I kept telling God, like, when the opportunity is right, I'll know it's right. Like, let your will be done. And I know God will open the door when the time is right. And so um, although those those didn't work out, I gained two more. And so I am fulfilling her 50 candle order. And then um, another lady that um, had her eye on me at the book launch contacted me and um, her and I are actually doing like a collaboration. So her wholesale, this wholesale client is actually gonna be a special type of wholesale client. Her and I are actually doing a product line collaboration. So I am actually, I am getting paid to not only develop a, her personal product line, but I'll also be her manufacturer and distributor, her wholesaler. So basically she wants 
um, a small product line for, she wants four candles and she wants it attached to her, her business and her brand. And so it's pretty much kind of like how you see like influencers or celebrities collaborate with big brands and release like their own shoe line or their own fashion line. Like for example, Kelly Rowland collaborated, collaborates with Just Fab and she has her clothing line with Just Fab, but Just Fab is the distributor, they're still the maker, but she, you know, it's still her vision. And so that's pretty much what this is about. And I am super excited. So I get to create a four candle product line just for her. And it would be like her, um, I'm designing the logo, so it would be like her brand um, and my brand as a collaboration for her candle line. And so she wants to sell them as a part of her coaching business. Um, she has a self-development coaching business um, and she wants to sell candles as a part of her business. And so I will, so I'm get she's paying me to actually develop the product line, design the label, all that good stuff. And then when, when, um, then I will pretty much keep her in stock. So I will sell it to her at the wholesale price. Um, so she's kind of like a stockist in a way. So I will sell things to her at, a, at the wholesale price and then she'll mark them up at the retail price so she gets her money as well. Checking on my wax over here. Let's see what how we're doing. So got one more candle to clean. <laughs> so I'm, it was a very interesting meeting, something I've never done before. Um, so it's almost like a private label kind of thing, but she wants me to still be featured as the brand maker. So, um, but she wants me to develop her product line. So I ordered a lot of fragrance oils that I will be, and, it, and they're not scents from my line at all. Like these are her, this is like a completely new candle line and it'll just be four cents. Um, and so I ordered a bunch of fragrance oils the other day. And once those come in, I will be testing them, make, make her some samples, see how she liked them. And whatever four cents she go with, we'll go from there. I'm already in the process of like doing some label designs, seeing what she likes. And we'll pretty much collaborate. And I will be her product line designer, maker, and her wholesaler. So I'm getting paid pretty much for both jobs. Um, so anytime she places an order, kind of like a stockist, um, I will make her however many candles she need to keep her in stock and sell it to her at the wholesale price. And like I said, she'll mark it up for the retail price. So I get paid and she gets our coin too. So I am elated like i'm like see sometimes you just have to wait on god and let god have his way and let him open these doors for you and just be patient um so we're still cooking over here and just be patient with the process you know what i mean so to have these two clients i'm super excited about so the 50 candle order is due december 14th i'm starting them today so i decided to pull out my camera and record and then she planned the other client she plans to launch her line by the spring but of course with promotion and advertising and all that stuff my goal is to have everything final by the end of this month so in january um we can focus on the marketing and advertising strategies so yay for lady c i'm super excited and then um i have two clients that i'm coaching right now one i'm helping them set up their website with shopify so she can launch um, by the end of this month and then i have another client that's launching top of the year and i'm helping her pretty much build her candle business from the ground up with my accountability coaching program so um about time those two clients are finished baby girl will be here um and then even though the baby will be here i'll still be working with my other client with her launch um 
for her product line for her business and um and then just taking care of baby girl so i got that going on with lady c and then with the lady c's digital hq i'm trying to streamline and get everything coasting so about time baby girl gets here i can just kind of coast and do like miscellaneous admin stuff while i'm on maternity leave so i have a december is about to be jam-packed <laughs> and i'm doing all i can um before baby girl gets here so that's the latest with lady c i'm super excited i am at 26,000 subscribers we're over 26,000 subscribers thank y'all i love y'all so much so i appreciate the support and then um i'm actually just hit over 500 subscribers 500 followers on lady c's digital hq Instagram page. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for my 500 followers and um, just excited about that as well. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of good stuff is happening. Like I'm just excited about everything God is doing. You know what I mean? Just excited. So right now I'm actually not realize how many silicone cups I had so I'm finishing prepping my jars I got my wicks in there the wax is just about ready oven is still good um, I have my oven on right now 200 degrees um, and it's just to warm up my jars I know I get a lot of questions about how long do you keep them in there to heat up literally just until the jar is is warm or pretty 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 warm to hot to the touch like there's really no science behind it it's really just to help slow down the cooling process that's all um i am using my cocoa soy wax my c6 wax if you're curious on what wax i'm using these are my nine ounce jars and i'm using a c14 wick for these jars I am going to finish putting these warning labels on, wicking these jars, and then we'll get to pouring and mixing when that time comes. As you've seen in the previous clips um, I went on and warmed up my jars once the wax had melted um, I went on and let it cool separated it out into my pouring pitcher so I can evenly distribute the fragrance oil and then once it cooled to the appropriate temp I went on and poured so um, I heat my wax to like 185 180 185 and then I let it cool to about 160, mix my fragrance oils, and then I pour around 145-ish. And I showed you a quick little glimpse over of the final product. So I am all done with this scent. I have three more scents to make for her, um, which I will tackle over the weekend. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to just take you along with me, make some candles with me. It's been quite a while. <laughs> Um, so I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the support. 
And do not forget, I am collaborating with Maryland Wax Club. I know many of you do order from her, Mika, black owned business. Um, I do have a coupon code, LadyC5, where you can save 5% off of your total order. So make sure you check that out as well. Support another small business out here doing its thing. Well, she's doing her thing, I should say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye.